A bank employee armed with a rifle shot and killed four colleagues and wounded nine other people at his workplace in downtown Louisville, Kentucky on Monday, according to police, while live streaming the attack. The suspect shot at officers. We then returned fire and stopped that threat. The suspect is deceased. Louisville Metro Police Department Chief Jacqueline Gwynne Villarroel identified the shooter as 23-year-old Connor Sturgeon, who joined the downtown branch of the Old National Bank as a full-time employee last year. In the latest in a long series of mass shootings in the United States, police said they responded within minutes to reports of an attacker at about 8.30 a.m. Police identified the dead, whose ages ranged from 40 to 64 years old, as Joshua Barrick, Juliana Farmer, James Tutt, and Thomas Elliott. Kentucky Governor Andy Bashir said he knew some of the victims, including Elliott, a senior vice president at the bank. I have a very close friend that didn't make it today. And I have another close friend who didn't either, and one who's at the hospital that I hope is, is going to make it through. Police said one of the responding officers was struck in the head and remained in critical condition after brain surgery on Monday. 26 years of age, just graduated from the police academy on March 31st. I just swore him in. Mass shootings have become commonplace in the U.S. So far this year, the country has experienced 146 mass shootings, using the definition of four or more shot or killed, not including the shooter, according to the nonprofit Gun Violence Archive. In response to the Louisville bank attack, President Joe Biden once again reiterated his wish that Congress pass legislation requiring safe storage of firearms, background checks for all gun sales, and elimination of gun manufacturers' immunity from liability.